Hello, hello, Hector. Hello, Her Genaro. Hello, teacher. How are you? Now, for this, uh, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I would like for everybody to go ahead and uh, remember which activities we were developing yesterday. Uh, what vocabulary or what conversations or what topics do you remember from yesterday's class? I'm sorry. Which topics do you remember from the previous class? The use of goo. The use of? Goo. The use of wood. Very good. Can you give me an example of the use of wood? Okay. Would you like to come at home this night? Yes, I like it. Or oh, I think. Oh, yes, I would like to. Mm -hmm. All right. Yes, I would like to. Awesome. Uh, what about if you don't want to accept? What about if you don't want to accept? You have to use comma and give a justification, something like that. Do we say justification or justification? Uh, justification. <laughs> <laughs> justification. Very good. Okay, yes. Yeah, sorry. Thank you. Good job. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Iris. Can I have another participant? Something that you remember from yesterday's class? Somebody? Anybody? All right. Um, so basically we were looking at um, invitations, making an invitation, uh, accepting an invitation, denying an invitation. Uh, at this moment, I would like two volunteers, whatever volunteers. Let me have two volunteers. Uh, one student is going to ask or make an invitation and the other student is going to accept or decline. For example, for example, it is, um, would you like, would you like uh, Coca-Cola? Yes, I would like to. Yes, I would. Solamente. Yes, I yes, would. Okay. I I, yes, yes, okay, I would. Okay. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Now, it is ask or offer something to Hector. Okay. Hi, Hector. Would you like to go to the Cinemark um, tomorrow? Uh, hello. Uh, yes. Uh, un, uh, cinema de terror. A horror movie. A horror movie. Horror movie. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Okay, that's okay. That's okay. Horror movie. Okay, now... Um, Hector, make an invitation to Jenny Melendez. Jenny, uh, what do you like to go in the beach? Yes, I would, or no, I wouldn't. Creo que Jenny tiene problemas con el audio. Sorry, uh, repeat, please. Repeat, please. Okay. Would you like to go in beach? 
would you like to go eat pizza? Would you like to go eat pizza? I go to uh, eat. No, yes, I would. No, I wouldn't. Ah. Uh -huh. Solo yes, responde, I yes, I would. Yes, I would. Quiere decir, si me gustaría. Or, no, I wouldn't. No, I wouldn't. No, no me gustaría. Okay, yes, I could. Yes, I would. Or, no, I wouldn't. Uh -huh. Okay. Now, um, does anybody have any questions referring to yesterday's class? Any questions referring to yesterday's class? No? Not sure. Thank you. Okay. Very good. Now, uh, what we're going to do is move forward. And we're going to be looking at section 4.14, lesson objective 4.14. In this lesson, participants will read an article about a singer. Scanning for important information will be developed. En esta clase, los participantes leerán un artículo sobre un, una cantante. Análisis de lectura será desarrollada. Any questions? Now, let's look at reading exercise, Cristina Aguilera. You are going to read this text with a classmate in pairs. And when you finish reading the text, you are going to answer the questions about Cristina Aguilera. Any questions? For example, she sings at the Winter Olympics Games. What event is that? She sings at the Olympic Games. Seven. So we come here. And it says one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And it sings, the question is, she sings at the Winter Olympic Games. So we look here, Winter Olympic Games. Winter Olympic Games is this one. All right, so it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven, eight. Eight. Christina performs at the closing ceremonies for the Winter Olympic Games in Salt Lake City, Utah. So that is eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, Están al revés como diferente para conteo. Perdón? Está una de más. Oh, okay. All right, so it will be seven. Okay. Any questions about this activity? No question, teacher. Okay, let's work together and then we will check together in pairs. Hello, Edis. Hello, Edgar. Hello, Edgar. Okay. Bye, no problem.
Uh, you really okay. yes so far she has multiple hit singles she has fans of all ages around the world around the world and many people say she is the best singer of her generation she is christina Aguilar. Here are some highlights of Christina's life and career. You continue or? Um, you read all. Ah, okay, 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 okay. 1980. 19, Christina is born on December 18 in New York, 1988. Christina first appearance on television in a star search at television talent show. Christina is on TV in Disney's new Mickey Mouse Club when Brandy Spears and Justin Timberlake. 1994, Christina records all I want. I wanna do. When Keiso Nakahige, a Japanese pop star, she tours Japan. 1998. Christina sings a song for the Disney movie Moran. 1999. Christina has her first kid, Winnie in the Bottle. 2001, along with other singers. Mm -hmm. Casi, casi no se le escucha. Uh, ¿Desde dónde no, no me escuchó? Todo. Desde, no, desde donde dice, de donde empiezan a, los años, donde dice timeline. Vaya, espérame, es que yo creo que... Te... Hoy sí me escucha bien, sí. ahorita sí me está escuchando bien. Sí, ahora sí. Vaya, espérame, solo voy a hacer un pequeño arreglo, espérame. Bueno. No problem. Okay, I am back. I started again. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Timeline. I can you hear me? Yes, I can. Okay. <laughs> Nineteen <laughs> nineteen eighty. Tina is born on December, on December 18 in New York, 1989. Christina first appeared on television in a star search at television for Olympic Games. What number is seven? It's, it's number eight. No, no, it's seven. But why? White is number seven. Along with other singers, Christina Record, Lady Muffet for the movie Molly Road. Okay. But here is speaking about she sing at the Olympic Games. And then number eight, Christina performed at the closing ceremony for the Winter Olympic Games. So, okay, I, I don't know why you said uh, yo la, is number seven for me. Yo la tenía y así y me salió incorrecta. Ah, okay, okay, go ahead. She is born in New York. 
the number one, right? Yeah. She thinks a Grammy for beautiful is number it's eight. She records, she records a, a Disney movie is number five. Number, okay, number five. Thank you so much. She, she travels, travels around, around Japan. Number six is four. Ah, uh, yes, number okay, number five. She works with Britney Spears. Is number three. It's number three, yeah. She is number. on television for the first time. Number two. Number two. two. Uh, yes, I think. Okay. She has her first. She has her first very, very successful. Is number six. Okay, number six. Okay, okay, okay. All are correct, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We done. We did. We did. How many lessons are? Do you know? Okay. Ya nos llaman a la. Five lessons. De nuevo. Okay. All right, guys, is everybody finished or do you need more time? Finished, teacher. Finished. Okay, very good. Let's check the activity. Let me have one participant, letter B. She is born in New York. Number one. Letter C, she wins a Grammy for beautiful. Letter C. Number H. A. A. Excellent. Letter D. She records a song for a Disney movie. Number five. Number five. Number five. 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 Letter E. She travels around Japan. Four. Number four. Number, four. Number six. Four. She works with Britney Spears. Three. Number, three. Number G. She is on television for the first time. Number two. two. Number two. Letter H. She has her first very successful song. Number six. 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 Uh, pronunciation is six. Okay. Six. Awesome. Six. Awesome. Very good. Any questions referring to the vocabulary or this reading text? Any questions? Me, teacher. What is the pronunciation of ceremonies? Ceremonies? Cer I don't uh -huh. know. Ceremonies. 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 Ceremonies is okay. correct. Very good. Alguien más que tenga Thank you. Pre... Excellent. Thank you. Um, Somebody yeah, else? Uppers, multiple. Oh, multiple. Uh, multiple. 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 Another question? Okay, let's go ahead and we are finished with this section. Now we are going to move forward. 
Let's move forward. And we're looking at section number 5.0. In this lesson, participants will be able to listen to a conversation about families using present continuous. En esta clase, los participantes serán capaces de escuchar una conversación sobre parentescos usando el presente continuo. Let's look at asking about families. Families vocabulary. Please listen. Are you ready to talk about your family? I want you to play the conversation. I'm practicing in class. Asking about families. Part A. Listen and practice. Tell me about your brother and sister, Sue. Well, my sister works for the government. Oh, what does she do? I'm not sure. She's working on a very secret project right now. Wow. And what about your brother? He's a wildlife photographer. What an interesting family. Can I meet them? Uh, no. My sister's away. She's not working in the United States this month. And your brother? He's traveling in the Amazon. Can you tell me now where Rita's parents live? What do they do? Type your answers in a... Okay. Now, for this activity, we are going to practice the conversation. Repeat, please. Rita, tell me about your brother and sister, Sue. Tell me my brother, your brother and sister, Sue. Tell me about your brother and sister, Sue. Tell me about your brother and sister, Sue. Sue, no. Sue. 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 Well, Sue. my sister works for the government. Well, my sister works well, for the go government. Oh, what does she do? Oh. That's oh, what true. does she do? I'm not sure. She's working on a very secret project right now. I'm not sure. I am she not sure. She's working on a very secret project right now. Project right now. Wow. And what about your brother? Wow. And what about wow. your brother? Wow. And what about your brother? He's a wildlife photographer. He's a wildlife, he is a wildlife photographer. What an interesting family. Can I meet them? What, what an interesting family. Can I meet I... them? Uh, no. Oh, no. My sister's away. She's not working. My sister's away. She's not working the in United the United States, States this, month. this month. In the United States this month. And your brother? Your brother? He's your traveling brother? in the Amazon. He's traveling in the Amazon. He's traveling All in right. the Amazon. All right. One more time. Everybody, one more time. Tell me about your brother Frida. and sister, Sue. Tell me about your Tell brother. me about your brother and sister, Sue. Well, my sister works for the government. Well, my sister works for the Well, my sister works for the government. Oh, what does she do? Oh, what does she do? Oh, what does she do? I'm not sure. She's working on very secret project right now. Oh, not sure. I'm not sure. She's yeah. working on a very secret project right now. Right now. Wow. And what about your brother? Wow. And wow. And what about your brother? He's a wildlife photographer. He's a wildlife photographer. What an interesting family. 
What, what is the family? Can I meet them? Can, Can I, I meet them? Can I meet them? Uh, no, my sister's away. Um, no, my sister's away. She's not working in the United States this month. And your brother? And your brother? He's traveling in the Amazon. He's traveling in the Amazon. All right. At this moment, does anybody have questions referring to this vocabulary? Wildlife. Wildlife is la vida in, in la selva. Wildlife, Ajá, que, que está, no está como en un zoológico, como en un entorno controlado, sino que está en el aire libre. Wildlife, no domesticado. Wildlife. Wildlife. Another question from this conversation. No question. Uh Government. Patricia, government, gobierno, government. Go government. Okay. Excellent, Patricia. Okay, uh, another person, somebody else that has a question? No awesome, question. awesome. So for this activity, we're going to go ahead and practice the pronunciation in pairs. Are you ready? Let's Ready. go. Edgar Cubias, Israel Lemus. Está con David. Yes. Okay. I'll be Rita and you'll sue. Okay. <laughs> Tell me about your brother and sister soon. Well, my sister works for the government. Oh, what does she do? I'm not sure. She's working on a, a very secret project right now. Whoa, and what, what about your brother? He's a wildlife photographer. What an interesting family. Can I meet them? Oh, no. My sister away. She's not working in the United States this month. And your brother? He's traveling in the Amazon. Okay. I'll be Sue and she'll be Rita. Okay. Tell me about your brother and sister, Sue. Well, my sister worked for the government. Oh, what does she do? I'm not sure. She's working on a very secret project right now. Well, and what about your brother? He's a good life photographer. What an interesting family. Can I meet them? Oh no, my sister's away. She's not working in the United States, mom. And your brother? He's traveling in the Amazon. Um, what do you think if um, we make this conversation or with our information? Mm. Just, I will ask you for 
Do you have brother and sister? Yes. Well, I will ask you for them and you tell me what they do. What do you think? Eh, a mí me cuesta entender todavía las conversaciones. A ver, te, te, decía que, bueno, te digo que si sí, hacíamos siguiendo las mismas preguntas, pero Ajá. dar como información personal, o sea, nuestra información. Vos me das información de tus hermanos, qué hacen y cosas así. Ah, ok. Ok. Eh, you are Santiago. <laughs> ok. Yeah. Oh. Tell me, tell, tell me about your brother and sister, Santiago. Uh, well, my sister study the college. Okay, that's great. And what about your brother? My brother, uh, Study the, the high school. Oh, how old is him? Okay. Now, in this activity, what you're going to do is you are going to write. Vamos a escribir una conversación similar. En vez de poner brother and sister, puede decir mother and father. En vez de decir working, you can say on a vacation. Instead of photographer, puede decir doctor. En vez de decir United States, puede decir Brazil. Whatever. You're going to create a similar conversation and you're going to write it here in the discussion forum. Van a escribir una conversación similar a esta aquí en la discussion forum. Any questions? Any questions? No, teacher. Are you ready? Let's go. What does she do?
Can I tell I have a browser? Uh, I have I have a brother and a sister and you. I don't have brother or sister. I only shy. I don't have any brother and sister. Vaya, vale, sí lo voy a mandar. Eunice, do you have brother and sister? I have a brother and a sister. And you? I don't have brother and sister. Oh, okay. <laughs> I like it. I like it. I like it. Okay. Bye. Ya la mandé. No le puse tu you have, quiero ver si la puedo editar.
Is everybody finished or do you need more time? Teacher, more time. Because I need a, a sistema penitenciario, how do you say? Penitentiary system. Okay. okay, go ahead, you have more time. And do what? The conversation. Uh, another one. No, 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 no. Eh, el señor dijo que nos iba a dar más tiempo para hacer la conversación porque hacía falta escribir una palabra, que era el sistema penitencial, creo. Mm. <laughs> mm -hmm. oh, Entonces por eso tenemos más tiempo. Y yo que mandé uno bien cortito. <risa> eso estaba viendo. Y el mío, yo no sé por qué, cuando lo publico, se me reinicia la página. Y ya intenté ver qué pasa y no sé. Y no se puede de... publicar. Sí, no, pero yo creo que con que uno de los... está bien. Hmm. Acá se termina el curso. Sí, bien rápido pasó. Bien rápido.
¿Ya lo publicaste? Eh, sí, lo acabo de publicar. Yo también me había comido una letra. All right, let me have two volunteers. Let me have two volunteers. Two volunteers. Me, me teacher. All right, Patricia, who's your partner? Um, this okay. But, I, tell I, me about what? I'm ready. Excellent. Who is your partner? Uh, is um, Daniel? Uh, is it, tell me about your boyfriend, Carla. Uh, well, well, my boyfriend worked at a hospital. Oh, what does he do? I not know. He is a good doctor. Wow. And what about your sister? She is a nurse in the United States. Finish. All right. That's good. Excellent. You got it. Applause for Patricia. Thanks. Okay. Uh, now, what we're going to do is, uh, escribieron todos la conversación en el, en el discussion forum, ¿verdad? Yes, teacher. Okay, so now we're looking at knowledge check. We're going to be looking at 5.2 knowledge check. Instructions. Look at Sam's family tree. How are these people related to him? Write the answer on the space provided. You need to type the name, not a sentence. Do not include the period. Instrucciones. Observe el árbol genealógico de Sam. ¿Cuál es el parentesco con él? Escriba su respuesta en los espacios. Solo necesita colocar el nombre del parentesco. No oraciones. El punto final tampoco es necesario. Ya está colocado por usted. So here we have the family tree. We have Andy, grandfather, and Marta. Chris, Sarah, Donna, Manuel, Sam, Yamika, Jim, Lisa, Liz, Teresa, Kelly, and Johnny, Jimmy. And here you have cousin, father, grandmother, niece, sister-in-law, uncle, and wife. So here you are going to write the correct a relationship with the relative. Any questions? No question. Okay, let's do it. Hi, Iris. Uh, you are working with Daniel Palacios and Santiago. Grandfather is abuelo, right? Grandfather is abuelo. 
Hi guys, you are in what number? Number one. Okay. Uh, is grandmother the answer? Answer. Okay. Mm -hmm. Chris is. Number one. Parent. Number one. Grandmother. Father. Grandmother. Yes. yes. Oh, yeah. Number two, I think it is Chris is some father. 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 Yeah. Father. father. Yes. Mama. Father. Yes. Okay. Uncle. Uncle. Yes. Number two. Uncle. Uncle. Okay. So. She is five. Number four. Number four is wife. Number one. Yes. Yes. Why from Okay. Some a brother. Brother. Uh, Some had brother. He is married to Lisa. Lisa. Is Sam's is cousin sister in love? Yes. Number five, right? Number five. Okay. Sister in love. Sister in love. In love. Sister in love. Yes. Okay. Sam. Number six is cozy. Cozy. Nice. What is nice? No, no es prima. Yes. Prima. She's, um, so the number the number six, I think, is is nice. Yeah. Nice. nice is sobrina. Ah, okay. Closing is, is prima. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you. Entonces, number six, closing. Yes. Number seven. Nice. Nice. Yes. Sobrina. Yes. The number five and the number seven, it's wrong, but I don't know why. Number five. Lleva los guiones. Yes. Le pone a todos por eso me salió mal. Okay, okay, you're right. Six in round. Six. Okay, again. Okay. I was thinking of that. Okay. Hay que escribirlo en minúscula. No, solo tú tienes que escribir los guiones. Eso es todo. En la parte de arriba está cómo se escribe también en donde está el árbol. Ajá.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, time's up. Time's up. At this moment, does anybody have any questions? At this moment, does anybody have any questions? Nobody. No, teacher. Awesome. Let me have one volunteer. Can I have one volunteer? Jose Avalos. All right, Jose. Let's look at the first one. Um, Andy is Sam's grandfather, and Marta is his. Grandmother, very good, very good. Josue, excellent. Grandmother. Number two, Chris is Sam's? Father. Father, perfect. The next one, Manuel is Sam's? Uncle. Uncle. Uncle, excellent. Uncle. Sam is married to Yumiko. She is his? Wife. 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 Sam has a brother. He is married to Lisa. Lisa is Sam's sister in law. Sister in law. Sister in law. Teresa is the daughter of Manuel. She is Sam's okay. cousin. And Jimmy and Lisa have two babies, Kelly and Jimmy. Kelly is Sam's. Night. Niece. niece, niece, niece. All right, awesome. Uh, here we have to put, let me see, sister in law. Awesome. All right, all right, guys, that's all for today. Thank you so much. Please continue working and advancing on the platform and see you tomorrow. Bye. Good night. Bye. Good night. Bye.